Okay, what we got going here? Okay, well, this is what we're going to try to make. We're going to try to do all those bearings, re-pour them, and make it look like this right here. Okay? Okay. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this frame. We get that center, get it tightened down. Then we'll use some material to block the leakage at the bottom and around the top. Then we have the proper clearance between what size bearing we're going to have to have. And then this is the Babbitt. This is the Babbitt that the old bearings had. It's usable, it's not a real good idea to use it, but we're gonna use it anyway. And then this, this whole thing here, is gonna sit on this burner. This is gonna sit on this burner here. And warm up. And that's going to warm up. We've got our seal, all the seal stuff in place to keep it from running over. And then this is going to be molten. And it's molten. We pour it in here. But this is going to be hot. And this is going to be hot. So great care is going to have to be taken to But I think that's going to work. Well, can't wait to see it. <laughs> I can't wait to see it too. I'm excited about it. I really am. But this is this is uh, going to be the same thing as the uh, crankshaft um, journal. And when we get the crankshaft turned, mm -hmm. we're going to turn all the main the main uh, bearings. We're going to turn them all the same size. Then I'll turn this down to the size of that bearing, or the size of the journal. Then when we pour it, this bearing, this bearing will fit. This one won't fit, but we're gonna, we'll make it fit once we pour new bearings. But the first thing has to happen is that that crankshaft needs to be turned. And once we find out what, what dimension they turn the journal to, I can turn this down to match it. Then when we pour the bearing, the bearing will fit. That's where we're at. Well, good. <laughs> Thanks for explaining it. <laughs>